Hi there. I'm Rabbi Judy Biner, community chaplain with Jewish Family and Career Services. In these messages, I'm hoping to share with you some words or some teachings uh, and some blessings to give some hope and inspiration as we navigate this difficult time in our world. I'll begin with sharing one of my very favorite poems by the poet Marge Piercy, and it's called Connections. Here it is. Connections are made slowly. Sometimes they grow underground. You cannot always tell by looking at what's happening. More than half a tree is spread out in the soil under your feet. Penetrate quietly as the earthworm that blows no trumpet. Fight persistently as the creeper that brings down the tree. Spread like the squash plant that overruns the garden. Gnaw in the dark and use the sun to make sugar. Weave real connections, create real nodes, build real houses, live a life you can endure, make a love that is loving, keep tangling and interweaving and taking more in, a thicket and bramble, wilderness to the outside, but to us, it is interconnected with rabbit runs and burrows and lairs. This is how we are going to live for a long time, not always. For every gardener knows that after the digging, after the planting, after the long season of tending and growth, the harvest comes. I love this poem for her descriptions, for the visual picture we get of how connections are made in nature and in our own lives. Like many of you, these past few weeks, I've been sitting in on meetings on online platforms, those video conferences, Microsoft Teams and Zoom. Uh, and it's interesting how people have observed that in spite of being physically apart, many of us have really felt very connected. When we're online looking at each other in little squares, we focus on each other's faces, we pay attention to their expressions and their voices in ways a little different than when we're all in the same room together. While sequestered in our homes, I think we're inclined to feel very much alone. And yet on those conferences, when we hear others describe how they're managing their challenges, their fears, and we recognize that we are in that very same place. So we know that we're connected and together part of a greater whole. So heading into Shabbat, I think it's helpful to remember that this holy day is all about connection. Now, many of us are accustomed to gathering in person on the Sabbath for meals, worship, catching up with friends, connecting with our community. While these activities aren't happening in quite the same way during these weeks, I think we can take comfort and feel connected to others as the rituals and activities that we're accustomed to are repeated in other households in our neighborhood, in our town, in our community, our country, and around the world. So we are all connected and we could also say we are all connected in some way all the time. So both on this coming Shabbat and throughout the next week, may your connections, the ones that you have now and the ones that you might develop in the future, may they bring you strength and solace and peace. Shabbat Shalom.